Okay, so uh, today we're going to start on the section about decision theory. And so what's decision theory about? Well, so far we've been working with uh, probability theory, which allows us to quantify our uncertainty about a situation. So our uncertainty of you know, how our predictors map onto um, our output variables, basically. But at the end of the day, um, in many situations, that's not enough. So we need to make a decision um, with that information. So whether to, for example, carry out a particular treatment or whether to, for example, buy or sell a stock or something like this. So it's not just enough to say, well, the probability of, you know, the stock going up or down is so-and-so. You have to decide whether you're going to, whether you should buy or not. And decision theory is kind of the formalism we use to allow us to make those choices in an optimal way. And optimal is going to be defined within decision theory. So, so you know, minimizing some loss or maximizing some, some benefit given um, the probabilities and the uncertainties that you quantify. So in this first section, it's just we're just going to have kind of the introduction. Um, and then in the, in the subsequent sections, we're going to you know, look at the particular applications of this to regression and classification. So, so here we're, we'll just you know, set, up the, set up the situation. Okay, so let's let's get started. So, um, so the idea is, as I just mentioned, so when combined with probability theory, we can make optimal decisions in situations involving uncertainty. Okay, so as as usual, we've you know we have some input vector, and we're going to be aiming to predict some target t for a new value of x. So that's always the setup that we've been in, and what we've been working on so far is essentially coming up with um, a quantification of our uncertainty, and that quantification is called inference, and um, it gives us this joint distribution. So this is kind of the most, you know, the most um, kind of the I mean, compact is not the right word, but it is, you know, the joint probability distribution is going to give us our, our just kind of the most complete quantification of our uncertainty about the, about the situation. Um, but as I mentioned, we frequently can't stop there. So it's not just enough to quantify the uncertainty, we have to make a specific prediction or take an action. So the question is how we can do that. And I guess a kind of a classical example of this is in medical diagnosis. So this is something that comes up all the time, very important problem <clears throat> where we, you know, we, we need to quantify uncertainty and then make a decision. So in this particular case, let's say we've taken an x-ray image of a patient and we want to determine whether the patient has cancer. So you know, our inputs are the pixel intensities, and the output might um, indicate whether the person has uh, cancer or not. Um, and we're going to have now, at the end of this process, we're going to have kind of this, this joint probability of the two classes. So the probability of the pixel intensities and the two classes for whether the person has um, you know, cancer or not. But of course, we can't just stop there. We need to make a decision. So should we give a person the treatment? Um, and that, this, this is kind of the very important decision step, and that's where decision theory comes in. Um, so you, you, and typically the, the way it's set up is that you kind of you provide some kind of a loss that says, you know, what is the cost of essentially making the wrong decision, um, and then you combine that with your quantification of uncertainty to then arrive at your at your final decision. So that's that's what the whole game is about. The key the key tool that we're going to use. Um, for a lot of this is going to be Bayes' rule, which is going to give us many of the probabilities that we need. So from that joint distribution that we have, we can, um, we can, we can compute all the probabilities that we're interested in. In particular, um, we can look at, we can get the probability of the classes beforehand, before any, you know, for example, the probability of cancer before we even took an image, so the base, the base rate. Um, and then we can look at the posterior probability, which is the probability of cancer once we have that image or you know, the probability of, let's say, you know, the stock going up or down once we have you know, the financial data we're interested in. And now, for example, in this, you know, back to the cancer case, if our aim is going to be to um, you know, minimize the chance of assigning the person to the wrong category, then you know, it seems intuitive that we would you know, choose the class, so we're making a decision, what class are they in? Well, we would compute the probability of cancer given X compared to probability of no cancer given X, and then assign that data point um, to the class that has the higher probability. And that's kind of the intuitive decision, um, but you know, with decision theory allows us to show that in fact, you know, in certain situations, that is the correct thing to be doing. So 
Uh, so that's basically what all, all this pretty in introduction, introductory section was about. Um, and now we're going to be looking at how to do this in the classification setting. So that'll be in the next video. Thanks.